Friends and family, good morning and welcome to St. Paul the Apostle Catholic Church. Welcome to our Mass today. Today is June 18 and we celebrate the 11th Friday in Ordinary Time. O Lord, hear my voice for I have called to you. Be my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. Friends, coming together as God's family, as one faith community, we call to mind our sins and our failures, and we ask God that He grants us pardon and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, since many boast according to the flesh, I too will boast. To my shame, I say that we were too weak. But what anyone dares to boast of, I am speaking in foolishness, I also dare. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they children of Israel? So am I. Are they descendants of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? I am talking like an insane person. I am still more with far greater labors, far more imprisonments, far worse beatings, and numerous brushes with death. Five times at the hands of the Jews, I received 40 lashes minus one. Three times I was beaten with rods, once I was stoned. Three times I was shipwrecked. I passed a night and a day on the deep, on frequent journeys, and dangers from rivers, dangers from robbers, dangers from my own race, dangers from Gentiles, dangers in the city, dangers in the wilderness, dangers at sea, dangers among false brothers, in toil and hardship, through many sleepless nights, through hunger and thirst, through frequent fastings, through cold and exposure. And apart from these things, there is the daily pressure upon me of my anxiety for all the churches. Who is weak, and I am not, am I not weak? Who is led to sin, and I am not indignant? If I must boast, I will boast of the things that show my weakness. The word of the Lord. From all their distress, God rescues the just. From all their distress, God rescues the just. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Uh, 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and decay destroy and thieves break in and steal. But store up treasures in heaven where neither moth nor decay destroys, nor thieves break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. The lamp of the body is the eye. If your eye is sound, your whole body will be filled with light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be in darkness. And if the light in you is darkness, how great will the darkness be? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. We live in a highly materialistic world. Very large number of people seem to believe that material wealth is the solution to every problem. That there's nothing that money cannot buy. And that there's no problem that it cannot solve. And this belief prevails even though every day it is shown really to be false. Social media have unfortunately reinforced this problem. We see people posting their wealth and their luxuries, projecting an image of a happy life. You see house tours, you see road trips, you see fancy dinners in restaurants, and then you almost automatically presume having such a lifestyle is the equivalent of a happy life. Then you begin to be bitter and envious and jealous of others. And so our gospel today warns us to guard what goes through our eyes. If your eye is sound, your whole body will be filled with light. And if your eye is bad, your whole body will be in darkness. Because there is such a thing as lust of the eye. It is when we allow our eyes to dwell only upon what is material and fail to see, to set our eyes on what is heavenly. And when that happens, our lives, our person lives in darkness. We know that what goes into our eyes affects our hearts and our values in life. And the person who cannot see beyond money, status, or power, or fame is truly in darkness. We need to remember that while money and earthly treasures are necessities of life, they are not ends in themselves. And they are not, they're not going to bring us true and lasting happiness. Heavenly treasures are our ends, our ends in themselves. And it is when we store up treasures in heaven that we can find our true and lasting happiness. But if earthly treasures are not ends in themselves, they can also be used to store up treasures in heaven. When we use earthly treasures to enrich the lives of others, we are storing up treasures in heaven. When we share our blessings, when we use our treasures to bless the lives of others, then we are storing treasures in heaven. Maya Angelou, the great American poet says, when you get, give. When you learn, teach. The prayer of St. Francis says, it is in giving that we receive. So life is not all about asking. It is also about sharing. Because in sharing, we are storing treasures in heaven. Because in sharing our earthly goods, we are storing heavenly treasures. But here's a little caveat. To store treasure in heaven is not just to bombard heaven with lots of good works but to really confront the question of becoming more than doing. What do you become while doing good deeds? One can do great things, but can become arrogant and prideful. One can do good works, but can become self-righteous or even bitter. And so it is really a question of what do you become while doing good works? What do you become while sharing your earthly treasures. When you are becoming more and more a child of God, 
appreciative of your blessings, content with life, grateful every day, grateful to share your gifts to others, then you have found the virtue of using earthly treasures to store up treasures in heaven. Amen. Acknowledging our weakness before God, we humbly bring our petitions to Him. That the church may continue to grow in holiness and grace under the counsel of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may give elected officials wisdom in enacting legislation to protect the sanctity of human life from conception through natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those afflicted by physical, mental, or spiritual suffering may find consolation in God's loving presence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this faith community may be guided in all things by Christ's light shining around us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may soon come into possession of their heavenly treasures, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now in the silence of our hearts, we offer to the Lord our prayers and petitions. Almighty God, in your abundant generosity, grant these prayers we have brought before you today. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts may be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. And so pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, 
and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alberto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now what a Savior is commanded and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. We now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, my dear friends, Jesus, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Let us pray. As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless and keep you and your loved ones in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace and love one another. Thanks be to God.